friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how simple it is to do some contouring, and you're gonna see why it is so effective and why you definitely wanna make this part of your regular makeup routine. So for this video today, I'm gonna to be using Unique's Press Bronzer. This is in the shade Medium, and I'm using the Sculpting Brush. You can use whatever bronzing product that you may have to do your contouring, but I highly recommend having some kind of a sculpting brush to use. As you can see, it has that nice angle on there. It really, really helps get the best results from your contouring. Um, and as always, you know, you're only going to have as good as makeup as you have as your tools, right? So having the proper tools in your tool belt is always essential to get the best possible results. But nonetheless, let's get started on some contouring so you can see why I say that it is a must. The biggest question that I get asked is where to start your contouring. So it's pretty simple if you really think about it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my brush and have it ready for the contouring. But all you're gonna do is take your brush, draw a line from the corner of your mouth to the tip of your ear here. See this line? If you just follow that line, just know you always want your contouring to be above that line. You never wanna go lower than that line. The reasoning for that is if you go lower, then it's gonna create a little bit more of a fuller looking face down here. That's not what we want, right? We want a chiseled, lifted, high and tight face. That is one of the biggest benefits of contouring is that it slims you out. Um, so as long as you stay above that line, you're not gonna have that issue. So I am going to go right above that line that I was just showing you to start with. And contouring can start looking a little intimidating at first, but remember you're gonna blend it out. So it's going to look good by the time you're done. So again, just start with that line and we're just gonna blend back and forth. You also don't wanna come like all the way to your mouth, okay? I wouldn't go any further in than the pupil of your eye, as long as you stay that far out, it won't drag down your face, okay? So you basically wanna go from the corner of your ear to the corner, or I'm sorry, to the pupil of your eye, right here to right here, okay? And then we're just gonna blend that out. And as you can see, I'm using the br brush like angled down here. You see that? So I'm keeping the higher part down low, and that's what's keeping that line nice and sharp down here for me, and then it's blending upwards from there. And you can even use some upward strokes if you want to blend, but just going back and forth should do it for you. Now, I did a very light contour there. You can go back, you can add more if you want an even more chiseled look. So this is gonna be personal preference, but if you're new to contouring, I would start with less, you can always add more, and you will be surprised at what just a little bit of bronzer can do for your overall look. I'm just gonna repeat the exact same thing on the other side here. Again, you can put as little or as much as you prefer. Again, I'm just staying above that line, back and forth from the edge to the pupil of my eye. Just like that. And if you do this, this is fun. <laughs> Make funny faces at yourself. You'll see where your natural kind of indentation is. That's another way to kind of tell, you know, you want to stay above that as well, okay? So that's kind of another little test to see if you're in the right place. There we go. And you already see how this is giving our face a little bit of dimension. So what you want to think about is when you put on your foundation, that is completely making your face one solid color, right? It blurs everything out, covers everything up, gives you that blank slate. But that's not what we look like naturally. We have different tones and shadowing and things going on. So you don't wanna be like one note. You wanna have some dimension in your face. That's what it, what's gonna make you look healthier and a little more slimmed, all the things that we want. So that's another reason why contouring is so important is to make sure you're not one note. Now next we're gonna go up at the top here, okay? And I always do from basically mid to my temple. Now you'll see a lot of tutorials and information out there drawing the number three, where they go from here to the temple and then down the side. That is definitely a method that you can use if, that, if that's your preference. However, I have found that I like my temple to stay light and bright. In fact, I bring my concealer up towards my temple because this, lifts. It's like a natural facelift right here, right? Because our eyes can start to look a little saggy, a little droopy as we get older. So I like this part bright. So I like to start stop my contour there. But if you want to go with the number three rule, you can do that as well. But give this a try. I think you might be surprised how much you actually like this 
a little bit better and this just stays so nice and bright and lifted there, okay? So I'm just blending this right into my hairline, up and down motions here. And then I will do the exact same thing on the other side. Just like that, right into the hairline. And make sure you're really getting into your hairline, okay? Because, you know, especially for me, you know, the skin's gonna look a little lighter there. And you don't want that to kind of like stand out really harshly. So just make sure you're really getting up into that hairline with your contour. There go. See how we're getting some dimension now? It's like we have some color, we have some life to our to our face. Okay, next, I'm gonna go to the very tip of this brush. And again, that's why this brush is pretty handy. I like to grab it right here, just on that peak part. And we're gonna go on the inner tops of our noses. And what I mean by top, you see where I drew that line? You don't wanna go back here or down low. You wanna keep it just at the very top inner line of your nose. If you go down too low, it's actually gonna make your nose look wider. So it's gonna get the exact opposite effect of what we want. So we're going right on the inner tops of our nose, okay? And then pop in a little bit under the ball of the nose. And again, I'm going very minimal here, so it's still kind of nice and natural, but you can, you can really get in there and chisel if you want, get that snatched up look. But for this tutorial purpose, we're gonna stay nice and natural there. And then I'm just gonna blend this out just a little more so it's not a sharp line. It's like that. But already now my nose has a little bit more color, a little more dimension. Okay, and then I also like to put a little on that tip and pop it right underneath my lower lip. And if you wanna give the, the appearance that your lower lip is just a little more pouty, a little more pop to it without having to get any lip fillers or injections or any kind of plastic surgeries, this is a good little trick to use. Adding that little bit of shadow here, it just makes that lower lip pop a little more. Okay, give it a little oomph, okay? <laughs> just a little trick that I do. Again, that's not something that you have to do, but since we are talking contour, I'm gonna show you all the tricks. And then last is going to be your neckline. Now, traditionally people only did neckline because they're like, oh, I wanna hide a double chin or I wanna chisel my chin. But honestly, you should always do your neckline in general and here's why. Your face now has all the dimension and the colors going on, right? It, it looks great. But your neck is still one color and you don't want it to be different, right? You want everything to be cohesive. So that's why it's important to kind of bring your contouring down. So what I do is I start right behind the earlobe here. And I'm bringing that straight down underneath my jawbone right to the center here. That's gonna be our first place to put it. And then I just blend downwards a little bit, just so you don't have a sharp line. But you just wanna stay underneath that jawbone. That creates a nice shadowing here for you and it's really gonna accentuate this. And it is going to slim your neck, slim your chin, slim your face overall, but it's also gonna make sure everything kind of just blends together and works well together, okay? We're gonna do the same thing on the other side, starting behind that earlobe and bringing it down and then blend it out. And then I also like to bring a little contour down on either kind of like indentation sides of my neck here. And again, this isn't really for slimming purposes, although it could slim it out a little bit, creating those shadows. This is just making sure that my neck matches my face. You guys, I'm sure you guys have can, can relate. You've seen someone or yourself in the mirror and you're like, wow, my face is one color and my neck is completely different. Super not cute, right? So we wanna avoid that, <laughs> okay? So that's why we bring that contouring down, okay? And this is where I'll just do a kind of final look. I'll go around and say, oh, okay, I need that blended maybe a little more, blend that out, soften that. But that's it, that's the places that you want your, your, your actual contour to be. So again, sides of the face, upper lines through here, okay? Sides of your nose, underneath, underneath there, and here. And that gives you contour. Now, if you were to go back and watch this video, <laughs> go back to the beginning, look at me before, maybe take a screenshot, fast forward back to now, take another screenshot, you're gonna be able to see a significant difference in my makeup and all we did was contouring. And we didn't do any crazy contouring. There's not a lot of chiseling happening here. We kept it simple, right? So um, that's the kind of difference you're gonna get though. We just have more dimension now. We look healthier. We have a little bit more color in our face. We're not washed out by just our regular, you know, straightforward foundation color. So 
definitely, definitely get out of your comfort zone if you are not already contouring and give it a try. I think you will be pleasantly surprised in the results of it. And it's just going to elevate your entire look for you. So give it a chance um, and leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And that's all I have for you guys today. I hope that that eases some of your anxieties about contouring. Um, but as always, if you have any further questions, please, please, please just send me a comment or you can email me at beautybycarlajoy.com. I'm happy to help, but that is it for today. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button and make sure you tap the little bell icon. It's going to notify you every time I upload new content. But until I see you guys again, get out there, find your joy and keep smiling.